What's up guys, Shane Starts here with Droid Modder X. When it came to the camera performance on Google Nexus devices, it was never really the Nexus strong point. However, that all changed with the Google Pixel. And some would even argue that to this day, the Google Pixel has one of the best cameras on the market. Part of the reason the Pixel camera is so good has to do with the camera itself. But one of the main reasons this camera is so awesome is because of the software, especially the HDR Plus feature on the camera camera app with the Google Pixel. Ukrainian developer BSG has ported the official Google camera application from the Android O developer preview to several other devices, including devices that have a Snapdragon 835 processor or a Snapdragon 820 or 821 processor. I've actually tested the Google camera on my Galaxy S8, and I have to say that that HDR Plus really does make a large difference. When comparing the Google camera from Android O to the Galaxy S8 camera, I noticed said in low light situations, I was able to more clearly see details in shadowy areas on the Google camera but I also found that there was less noise reduction in the Google camera. The Samsung stock camera was able to reduce noise with the included noise reduction software a little bit better. In situations where there was plenty of natural light or just plenty of light in general, I also noticed that the Samsung photos seem to be a bit overprocessed. So when I say overprocessed, I mean they were overblown. The colors were more saturated and the pictures just didn't look as natural as the pictures that I was able to get from the Google camera. As long as I had plenty of light, the pictures from the Samsung stock camera were much sharper with much more detail. But once again, they did seem a bit overprocessed with the colors being more oversaturated. Photos from the Google camera, on the other hand, had more natural colors, but they also did a much better job with the light coming in. So instead of the image being overblown like they were with a Samsung camera, the Google camera seemed to process the lighting in the photo a little bit better. In some situations, I can see where the stock Samsung camera is preferable, but in those situations where you have lots of deep shadows, the Google camera may be a better option, especially with that HDR Plus, it's able to get better dynamic ranges than what I was able to get on the Samsung stock camera. I'll be sure to leave a link to the Google camera application below. All you have to do is download and install the camera application and then it's ready to use. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Was the Google camera better than your phone stock camera or did you prefer the stock camera? That about wraps it up for this video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.